are coming to you from the Mesquite Arena, and that means one thing. Mesquite Championship Rodeo is coming up right here on TNN. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Miller, along with eight-time world champion bull rider Don Gay. We're going to look at this rodeo on paper anyway and see how it looks, starting off with the bull riding. Kelly McCall has drawn spec. Well, this is a real tough bull. Now, Kelly's won here once. His confidence is building. Young bull rider. He's drawn probably my dad's second toughest bull to ride. Turns back to the left, and I mean, he's a handful. He better have his mixture right. Should be an excellent, excellent one to watch. Also, Barry Gullow is here in the bull riding on Cream Puff. All right, now, he's won second on this bull once before, so he knows the bull, knows all the nuances of what he needs to do. If he doesn't go in overconfident, he should get another check. In the bareback riding tonight, watch for Tim Ryan. He has drawn Fizz Bomb. Well, this is a handful. He's really overmatched for Timmy, but this guy tries hard, doesn't know when to quit. I think he's going to ride him. In the saddle bronc riding tonight, Mike Kuhn is here. He has drawn Crazy Snake. Well, he's won on this horse uh, a number of times over the past couple of years. Really a good draw, and he'll do well. In the calf roping tonight, five times he's been to the NFR. Ray Hollibaugh is here. Be sure to keep an eye out for him. We're all set now here in the arena. Now back behind the chutes is Pam Minnick. Thanks, Dan. You know, we're here week after week, and this rodeo continues to be so exciting. I think it's because you can never predict what an animal's going to do. I'm right here behind the chutes where I can update you on the latest action. And speaking of the chutes, the bulls are in there right now, and Mesquite Rodeo will begin in just a moment. Here in Mesquite, Texas, starting off with... Larry Allen up there. He's ready to go. All waving right. and bringing you some of our great pictures here on TNN. Frank rolls out the barrel, and that means Section 1 of Bulls getting ready to start, Donnie. We're starting off with Vance Boyd on Roly Poly. Well, Vance has got a chance to really get things going, going for him. He's not had any qualified rides here this season. Really, he's, he's had a little trouble early in the year. This bull can buck. Gonna turn back into his hand. Bear down, man. Stay with him. Oh no, going down in the well. You see the bullfighter Barry Hankin moved in there just perfect. Really saved him. Yeah, he was fixing to really get drilled. No score for Vance Boyd as we start things off here in the bull riding. Watch for the bullfighters. Okay, now a lot of guys have been. You've heard me talk about moving too much and hold still. Vance just didn't move enough. He just tried to clutch. He was just counting his money. He wanted to ride so bad he just forgot to ride. And he saw that when he watched the replay up above. Jim Bob Stopner getting set on Thumper. All right, now this bull can really be a good one. He can turn back and spin to the left. Been kind of, the bull's been on the injured list for almost six months. Came back about two weeks ago for the first time. Bucked real well. Thumper round to the left. Jim Bob looking good. Off his rope. Hang on, Jim Bob. Looking to the outside, looks good. He's right there with it. Yeah. Back off his rope, a lot of effort. You can see how his whole hand position changed, Donnie, once he got slid backwards. Kind of turned it over some and trying to pull himself back up. A score of 70 for Jim Bob Stobner. Could have been more points had he been able to stay up on his rope like that right there. Now, get slid back. That bull just faded out to the middle of the ring and he wasn't ready for it. But a lot of effort. Yeah. Really had to bear down. Made a nice ride. Good recovery. Just a good effort ride. Not not classic, but a tough one. And he gives us a score to beat of 70. Bo Bohr, the next man up on Action Cat. This bull has been to the national finals in the eliminator pin. He's really tough to ride. Comes around to the left. Can spin right toward the end if you can make it that far. Bo hanging in there good. There's that right turn. He's in the trouble. Had a good one going. I thought if he could make it around to the right spin, he might get there. Get no score for Bo. Being 70 still the score to beat. Yeah, see, and then I had never seen him do that. Well, that's because they've never seen anybody get no further than that right there. Because there's that right hand spin that I was talking about. And he just got to the outside and bucked him down. We move now to shoot number five, where Kent Cox out of Hubbard, Texas, is on the back of Skinny. All right, Kent Cox. Room, rooms with Sandy Kirby, helps him over there at the bull riding in Fort Worth. Really a good boy. This guy really learning how to ride. Getting some confidence. Gonna be a winner, I think. Got a green bull. This bull hadn't been to the rodeo before. Uh-oh, wanting to turn around backwards. Now we get a start. Now a jump kick out of there. Sitting down in tight, toes out, knees in, good body position. Just makes the ride, made it look easy. 
crowd enjoys that ride. Let's see what the judges think about it. They say a score of 63 points for Kent Cox. Well, they're not gonna not gonna be too many high scores here. They're gonna keep them down there real low. Cowboys don't really care as long as the places go right. Little bull just quick down the arena, no turns. A little duck and a dive here and there, no problem. Kent Cox, 63 points, gets away safe. See, he's got those toes turned out. Now he needs to think about pulling up. They're bouncing just a little bit. Judges already gave him his score. Let's talk about the judges we have with us here tonight, Donnie. All right, Ronnie Christian over on one side. Got a judge on each side of the arena. Ron Knatzer, veteran of many arenas. Used to be a bronc rider, steer wrestler. Now you're looking at Kevin Casper from Keller, Texas. There's your case for the day for you. Herbie is the bull. This is one I'd like to have right to the gate to the left. Get over there and stay, Kevin. You're in good shape. Get your feet oh. down. You had him started. I was going to say, Donnie, where'd he go wrong? I saw the left foot come up and he got off that bull rope a little bit. I'm no not, score. Really not sure why his feet came up. I want to see his free hand. I think it's down and back just a little. Keeping it down and back. See, it's back. That takes, you know, push your body back, the weight comes off of your feet. The yeah, next man up, mistake. excuse me, Donnie, is Kelly McCall. And tonight, a little bit earlier, Pam caught up with Kelly. Kelly, you've drawn a bull called Speck this week. Are you familiar with him? Yes, Pam. I've well, watched him go several times. He's, I've seen him buck a lot of guys off, and very people, very few people get him rode. And uh, no game plan. Just I just want to have to run my hand that rope and take a good grip. Keep one leg on each side and mine in the middle. And that's all. Well, that's the only game plan I can set for him. Let's go, Kelly. Come on. It's a good bull, Donnie. If you do that, it'll work, Kelly. Bull turns back to the left. It'll be away from his hand. He'll have his work cut out for him. There's that left in good shape. Makes the turn a little bit inside. No way. He is a very good bull, Kelly. No disgrace in coming down of an animal like that. Probably a little overmatched, but maybe this time next year, you'll be ready. You know, watch and see if he doesn't lose his bull rope. This boy tries real hard. His hand came out of the rope before he actually ejected out of there. It's really too bad. That boy tries real hard. I'm pretty high on him. Do one more look, see if we can see his hand pop out of there. Now he's into his hand, and he probably can't ride him, but he's trying. You know, we can't really see his hand pop out of there, but it looked like his hand came out, preceded everything. Well, after the first section here, Jim Bob Stover, the man in the lead, with 70. Kent Cox right behind him with that 63 score. And there's another section of bulls coming up later, and that's Tuff Hedeman's wife, Tracy, sitting there. All right, we got Robert Lane right there with him. Little bull. So I ride a bull one. In Mesquite, Texas, and it's time for the bareback riding, and we would love to have you come down here and visit us in Mesquite. Well, you can always see a good rodeo here in Mesquite, and anyone who plans to attend in person, just call us, 1-800-833-9339 for information and reservations. It's great entertainment for the whole family, and they can have a ball here, Dan. Absolutely. Good food, good action, and a lot of fun. You're looking right now at Mark Michael, Flower Mound, Texas. He's on Full House. Kind of like the grandstands out there tonight. Mark Michael, he's really starting back. He's got a pretty good, pretty good shot at getting the money on this horse. Pretty nice right timing. There. Horse slows down. Oh, Whoa, no, Mark, Mark. Mark, get back in the middle. I can't imagine what happened. Well, now, the heck of it is that happened about the last second and a half right in front of everybody there. So let's see what the score will reflect that. A 69 for Mark Michael. Probably cost him four points. Probably two a side. Spur out, body position. I know I mentioned last week coming back off an injury and taking about, I don't know, three or four months off. Back in the center, he just, I don't know what happened right there, but it cost him some points. Mark has a score to beat, though, of 69 as you look at Edward Burleson, and he is on Warpath. Ed's 0 for 3 this season. Let's pull for him here. Eddie, hang on now. Uh oh. I saw that left foot kind of bounce. I hadn't seen a flag, though. Maybe he got by. Well, go on, Eddie. You got a pretty good one going. Horse duck, dive, turn back. 
Uh-oh. Rescue team's on their way. Stay with him. Well, Donnie, you did see a flag fall in the background. The left foot a little bit suspect. They say he didn't get him marked out. No score for Edward Burleson. Okay, let's see here. Got him up there, but now, now see, it just bounces out. It's down, no mark out, no score. One of the Bay old boys, Bo Mayo, is coming up next and tonight before the rodeo. Pam, talk with him. Bo, you've drawn a horse called Poncho, a horse that we've seen be very good, but not consistent. What do you know about him? I've only seen him a couple times, and he's been real good both times I've seen him. I uh, saw him at the circuit finals this year, and he was sure enough good. Bo's on kind of a run here this year, Donnie. Well, you know, whenever you ask a guy that, you don't even want to talk bad about your livestock. You want to keep a good, positive attitude. You know, like I've seen him, he's good twice. And well, he didn't look very good the other day. Guy don't want to hear that. He's got a stage fright. Hang on, Bo. All right, Yo. now, here we go. High jump. Good body style. Bo's riding well. Flashing. Uh-oh. Where that free hand went. The judge is going to give him a mark, though, Donnie. They said he stayed on long enough before he grabbed there. Before he touched him, let's see the score. It's going to be 71 for Bo Mayo, enough to put him in first place. I was going to say, I I would have disagreed. Now, now the spur out, Lou. See, he's getting spurred out. And now they say, okay, go ahead. Well, you don't have to spur him out now. Okay. Team dragged those spurs up. That looks real good. Coming around. Look good to me. Kerry Bodie, the next man coming up, shooting now at 71, the score to beat. He is on Fox. Kerry's from Garland, Texas. He's placed once. This horse is a national finals horse, probably getting close to 30 years old, this bucking horse. Been to the national finals some 12 times. Kerry in trouble, a lot of power. He's out of control. Oh! Go from bad to worse underneath him, Kerry. Kind of lucky old Fox could have stepped right down on him, but he didn't do that. Kerry gets no score. Old horse is always really bucked. He's always been a handful. Really have to have a hold with your spurs, you see. Both legs on one side, and boy, he hit that ground hard. That had to knock all of the air out of him. Get another look at that. So you want to be a cowboy? You want to find out how tough you are? Okay, try the bareback ride. Then get one foot in your midsection. Rough way to make a buck. Great horse there. There's another one coming up. Fizz Bomb. Tim Ryan has drawn him. We asked him about the horse before the rodeo. Tim, you've drawn the horse Fizz Bomb this week. What can we look for? He's a real good horse. I just hope get him marked out, hold him to, and let it roll from there and see what happens. All right. When you said mark him out and hold him to, that means he wants to keep his spurs locked in his neck for two jumps. That'll give him some kind of an advantage to make that turn over by the wall on the other side of the arena. Doesn't do it. He's broke loose right quick. He's coming at you. He's doing good. Hang on now. Come on, Timmy. Yeah. Boy, a strong horse really put to his arm. Tim's still having trouble getting his hand out of there. Jim helps him with that. His bomb's still kicking away. Now it's in the hands of the judges, Don. He's trying to beat 71. And he's going to do that by one. A score of 72 for Tim Ryan. He's going to have to move out of the way if he gets close to my daddy. <laughs> he's going to get chewed out for having his hand in that rigging so tight. Now this horse is bucking. Look at him jump and kick and extend. Now, Timmy, he's just back on the end of his arm, just taking a beating right there. Good enough to move into the lead, but wow, what a price to pay with your body. John Brockway getting set to go. He's got Mescalero is the name of the horse. John, the two-time Mesquite season champion, 88 and 89, trying to beat 72 points here tonight. All right. $54,000. He's one riding bareback horses. Been riding, really trying to rodeo about four years. Brockway on a little wild horse, Mescalero. Trying to get those long legs going. The horse kind of cut, jump, turn. Not a real good draw for Brockway. Down there, the horse races on. John Patterson makes a rescue. Kind of a small horse for the long legs of John Brockway. Judges say 65 for that ride for John. Not a lot you can do about the luck of the draw. The names come out of the hat at random. 
Don't get to pick your animal now. John thought it was going to be fun, thought he was just going to throw what we call a wild horse fit. And then just took off, comes around in that circle, and John just really is at a disadvantage being that long-legged on a horse like that. Take a look at our final standings. Tim Ryan wins it with a 72. Bo Mayo behind him with a 71. And in third place, Mark Michael with a 69. And now Pam Minnick standing by with the winner. Pam. Dan, Tim Ryan earned his check tonight on Fizzbomb. Tell me about the ride. He's a good horse. You know, you know it. If you call and find out you got him, you know he's a good one. You're going to have to come riding. And I think I could have rode him a bit better and been a few more points. But it's over now. Still winning first, so can't be too disappointed. Good enough for first place. Congratulations on the ride. We'll be back with more exciting action from Mesquite right after this. Watch out. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Don Gay and Pam Minnick in the crowds being entertained here. And Pam has some very special guests she's standing by with. Let's go to her now. Pam. Thanks, Dan. Bill and LeBond Singer from Montrose, Missouri, stopped by to see us. What brings you to Mesquite? Uh, just down to see the rodeo. We have uh, got tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, we never miss it on TNN. And uh, if we are not can't be at home, I... Uh, we tape. Uh, we try to don't. We definitely try to make it every time. Set the VCR and make sure you watch this show <laughs> when you go home. Back to you, Dan. Thank you very much, Pam, and especially to Bill and Levon. We appreciate that a lot. Donnie, how about a highlight this week? Got a good one. One of my old traveling partners. We got Glenn McIlvay, and he'll be riding a bull called Chili Willy. Now, this is a good bull ride. Hop and skip. A lot of effort. National finals winner back in 1984. This boy can ride bulls and still can do it. Spurring with the outside foot, whistle blows and down. You just like those. I remember that ride, a great ride. Well, there are a lot of great rides like that one made here at Mesquite, and I've collected the best from all the events on my best rides at Mesquite Rodeo Home Video. And don't forget, you know, there's a worst Rex as well, and it's got all the great crashes. Order Don Gay's 1991 Worst Rex or Best Rides at Mesquite Rodeo now. Each has almost one full hour of rodeo excitement. Send a check or money order for $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes. 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas 75149. That's $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling for each cassette to Mesquite Rodeo Tapes. 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas 75149. Or call 1-800-331-1000 for Visa or MasterCard orders. Please specify worst wrecks or best rides or both. Sorry, no CODs. It's time for our calf roping aficionados to uh, sit up and take notice. The young ladies are here tonight cheering on, got their hats and scarves, Donnie, everything, ready to watch John Mantus from Decatur, Texas. All right, now his best time's not been very good. That 21 and 9, he ropes better now. Got a good start at the barrier. You've seen it, our rodeo is a barrier strap put in front of the timed event cowboys to give the animal a head start. Whoa. Now, John, he's drawn a tough calf, kicking him really hard. Tie those three legs down. Get out of there for your time. See what the clock stops at. The time for John Mantooth will be 14 and 6. Made a nice catch. Yes, he really Had did. Had a good start right out of the barrier. In slow motion, you can watch that horse's chest. Boom, just right on the money. Good start. Now down that rope. Now this calf, she comes back to meet him now. You know, standing on your leg, kicking in the calves. It's yeah, a good it's, picture uh, of his horse working there, Donnie. Keeping the rope tight, helping his man try to win some money. Time again by John, 14 and 6, the time everyone will be shooting at. Seems stretching the barrier across there as we look at D.R. Daniel from Okeechobee, Florida. Boys won a half million dollars roping calves. Seventh in the world, 1991. Reach out there and rope. Five times he's been to the national finals. Now, big boy, about 6'2". 250. Handle that calf well. Horse backing up, trying to keep the calf still. Puts his hands in the air. The time for DR Daniel will be 11 and 7 tenths seconds. 11 and 7 moves him into first place. Just about a half step late. Made a nice catch. Really agile for a big man. Reached down. Took a year off. A year ago, came back to the national finals, kind of got that old fire relit, he said. Well, he's the man to beat right now here in Mesquite with that 11 and 7. 
pull the barrier one more time and we get ready for Casey Reisinger from Terrell, Texas. All right, my veterinarian, this guy, he's a good doctor. He's 0 for 1, came up empty the first time he entered. Got a start, and drew a good catch. Nice catch. All right, come on, Casey, pull. This guy can doctor these calves. He does it like this out on the range. Bring him down, got a nice, oh no, having trouble with his tie. Just trying to hurry too much. Well, that's a shame because he had a very good time going. 13 and five ends up the time for Casey. Didn't look like that second loop he could get to shape itself to form. I think it just folded over on him, yeah. you know, and, and when a guy's not rodeo, you get there and you're competing against the DR Daniels. Guys, you've been reading about it. You see him make this tie. You know, he goes to straining instead of just reverting back to repetition, thinking, oh, man, I got a good one. I got to hurry. And then things like that will happen to you. Terry Gillett out there. Oh, he roped the calf on time, man. <laughs> wrong, wrong target, Terry. Bodie Reed's the next man up. He's from Denton, Texas. 11 and 7. Still the time to beat. All right. Let's get that 0 and 1. Let's tie this up at 1 and 1 now. Reach out there and make the catch. Now he's got to get down that rope to get this calf on the ground. Now, pick and string over the front leg. Bring the back two up. One, two, three wraps, a half hitch, and he's through. Smooth run. Well, that's the good news. Uh-oh. The bad news is he picks up 10 seconds worth of penalty time. Started too quick, see it, horse? Now, he broke it. Neck rope still on the calf right there. You see that line the calf is about to jump over? That's the line. That's the head start they get. So his time was 21 and five with the penalty. John Price, the next man up from College Station, Texas. All right, Johnny, you got one singing to you. She's going, all right, you catch me. I'm gonna kick your britches off. Something to look for. Whoa, Let me out of here. There, kick oh, you can't catch me. Oh. If I'd had horns, she said, but I don't. Slides right off the top in no time for John Price. Now head on loop, quick throw. Just not gonna fit. The cast says ha ha ha. She runs off to come back another day, as does John Price. 11-7, still the time to beat. Raymond Holliball was here early tonight. That worked out to our advantage. Gave Pam a chance to talk with him. Raymond, what do you enjoy most about rodeo? I guess because uh, you're just on your own. Uh, you know, you're independent. You're your own boss. Uh, you can do as you please, when you, when you please, as long as you can win. My kind of guy. As long as the money holds up, huh? That's right. He won nearly $360,000 in the rope. And a little bit of a late start. Calf starting to run hard. Heard him coming. Reached out there. Now you're going to have to hurry. He may, he may try to just uh, a wrap and a half. He may see if it'll hold. There it is. All right, now he's going to have to get back on his horse and hope he stays tied for that six seconds. Have to give the animal a chance to kick free. 11 and 5, the time. If that holds, he will win by two tenths of a second. A little bit of a late start. Now, throw that rope out there. Oh, he really reach. There. Now, had to pick that calf up bodily, you have to get him up off the ground if you happen to get one off his feet. And the tie holds, and so does that winning time for Raymond Holliball. 11 and 5, he wins it all. DR Daniel comes in second, 11 and 7. And Casey Reisinger comes in third place, 13 and 5, his time. Well, Pam is standing by with our winner. Dan, talk about reach down from deep inside to make a winning run. Raymond Holliby did just that. Take us through your run, Raymond. Well, first of all, my calf didn't leave the box very good, and I kind of had to pull up and was late, and then I just run her a long ways, and just, I felt good to get by her the way I did for as far as I'd gone. You made some outstanding time up in the field. Congratulations on that run. We'll be back with more exciting action from Mesquite in just a moment. From Mesquite, Texas, and getting set for the saddle bronc riding. All right, this is where it all began back in the 1800s. You know, your, your trail drive outfit ride better horses than we do, so Monty Ashworth, he'll lead us off, and he's got a tough one, Reckless Red. Horse dangerous, said, dangerous in the shoot, a high rare out. Got out of the shoot plainly. You're going to have to go to spurring a little bit, Monty, or they'll put you on another range riding outfit. Look out, a little tall in the saddle. 
Whoa. Not your classic dismount there by Monty Ashworth. No score. Watch the spur out. We get a chance to watch this back. Now, the horse going to rear. He's tough. Put him up there. You see his feet come down. He had him up there, and he just weakened. That's just rookie inexperience right there. Now, okay. Chris Black. He hit about five different times getting off here. He's... Oh, my. That's when he starts singing that song. Well, he's tall in the saddle. Whoa. <laughs> The ping pong effect there as we move on to Wade Hebb from Kaufman, Texas. Elkins, the horse. Wade's won here twice already this season. Been doing pretty well. Elkins, just a nice old bronc, just smooth, jump, kick. He should do all right on it. Let's get us a score to beat up here. Jump and kick, coming around. No problem. That's a couple little turns. Nice smooth ride. Another day at the office for Wade Hebb. Off on the back of John Patterson. Waiting on his score. We do have a score from the judges at 64 points for Wade Hebb. Cowboys like this instant replay deal because they can really get on the judges if they don't think they get the right kind of score. Now they can watch back this slow motion. Instant replay. See him reaching up there. Looks good. Now he's a little short with his left foot. Yes. But now remember that turn. The judges can't see until right there. He does give us a score to beat of 64. We get ready for the next man. From Sonora, Texas, comes Dwayne Jones to ride Big John. All right, I don't believe I've seen Dwayne here before. His feet in those stirrups, sometimes called the coffee zone. All right, Dwayne got a pretty good spur out. Look, oh, me. He's in trouble. Big John puts him on the ground. After that coming out of the gate, Donnie just never was able to regain any kind of a rhythm. Let's take another look. He's no got score. got his feet up there. Might have come out a little quick, but then that horse skipped and yeah. jumped. Just popped him loose from his stirrup. Just bucked him off. Pretty hard landing, too. But watch that left stirrup right about there. You see it come off just ahead of him crashing. Well, Mike Kuhn is coming up next. He's drawn a pretty good horse, and we had a chance tonight before the rodeo to ask him about that horse. Mike, you've drawn the Bronx Crazy Snake this week, and the last time we saw you had him, you had a 71 score. Are you ready for the rematch? I sure am. I went back and watched that tape today, and he's a real nice horse. I uh, placed on him at the Walt Garrison last time and hoping to place on him again. He's a good horse. Mike kind of alluded to it, Donnie, the mesquite. Rodeos here on TNN. Really, these guys get a videotape them and watch exactly what they do each time. Right, you know, they know where to try and correct themselves. They just don't want to study them too much, you know, because it's still a jump at a time ball game. Looks really good. He's going to beat yeah. the 71. Charging, huh? That's the best I've seen him snap his feet in a couple of years. Looks really good. Now, he can go back and watch that tape a time or two. That's a good ride. John on that beautiful Palomino horse drops him off. Let's see, he's trying to beat 71, does it by one. 72 for Mike Coon. Well, I hadn't booed the judges in a while, but I'll go ahead and do that. You know, they, this boy makes a good ride. He's getting him over the points of the shoulders. Horse is nice and smooth, kicks every jump. He him in 74 pretty easy. We hope you keep us in mind here if you're thinking about a vacation to the Mesquite area. Come out and see us at the rodeo. Well, you know, if you're ever going to be in our area, just come out and join us in person for Mesquite Championship Rodeo. Call 1-800-833-9339 for information and tickets. It's a great way to spend your evening. You can sit right there in the stands with us and watch Tom Brown as he gets on Blue John. This old horse been around a long time. He's been around longer than Tom been riding bucking horses. Real good horse to draw. His spur hustle your feet. Look at that. Just Johnny kick around there. Blue John said, I'll take it to pay when the kid. Don't worry. That right foot looked mighty good from where we were sitting. He's trying to beat 72. The judges were looking at the other foot. Let's see what they think. They say a score of 68, Donnie, for Tom Brown. Huh. Left side must have been a little bit of a I think it was. Buddy Lytle judging the left side. Okay. Out of time. Especially these last few jumps kind of watch here. Okay, now he's in trouble. Puts it in the back and just holds it. That just wipes you out. 
Well, coming up next, Jim Blaine Kenny. We got together with him a little earlier. Jim, you've drawn a horse called Cat, and you haven't seen him out before. So how do you set a game plan? Um, tonight, I've just asked a couple of my friends what the horse does. They've told me it takes a little rain, just bucks good. Just ride him from jump for jump, and see what happens. Looks like he ran into a door somewhere. Jim Blaine, Carlsbad, New Mexico. Old cat, been to the national finals. Jim Blaine would like to be there. He dreams about it. Quick jump out of the chute. Good, look like good spur out on my side. Jump kick in good timing. Yeah, go ahead. Black eye not bothering you very much. Judges can't see that. Don't worry about it. Really had its moments, Donnie. I don't know if it'll move at 72, but a few of the jumps look good. 66 is what they say for Jim Blaine. I guess they could see that. Corey's new shirt and a low score. All right. Judges can see that a little bit behind. Left foot was doing the same thing as the right foot was doing. He needed to get a hold. They were just slip sliding. Not really getting any irony. Take a look at our final standings in the saddle bronc riding. Mike Coon wins with a 72. Tom Brown comes in second with a 68. And Jim Blaine Kenny ends up in third with that 66-point ride. And now Pam Minnick is standing by. Let's go to her. Thanks, Dan. As Donnie often says, a good bronc rider will make this difficult event look easy. And you did just that, Mike Coon, on Crazy Snake. Tell me about your ride. Oh, he's just a really nice horse, like we talked about before the rodeo. I've been on him before, and he's the kind of horse guy I'd like to get on every morning before breakfast. He's just really nice, really nice. What about a horse that circles around by the chutes? Does anything go through your mind as you're coming that close to the bucking chutes? Not really. He's circled into my rein, and I really prefer horses that circle into my rein. It just makes them that much easier to ride. But he's a good horse. A good ride, too. Congratulations. We'll be back with more exciting rodeo action in just a moment. Prepare yourself for the rebirth of the Mesquite, Texas, and it's time for, no, not a hanging, section two <laughs> of the bull riding as the dummy gets lowered into position. Jim Bob Stobner, the man to beat after the first section of bull riding. And in case you missed out on how to order Don Gay's worst wrecks or best rides at Mesquite Rodeo 1991 versions, just call 1-800-331-1000 or write Mesquite Rodeo tapes, 1818 Rodeo Drive, Mesquite, Texas, 75149. Well, we're starting off with Brandon King from Flower Mound, Texas, the Bull Dire Straits. All right, Brandon, he's going to go down that gate a little bit, turn back to the left to bear down. He's rank. Here comes the left, and he's out of there. I believe Brandon was looking right that time, Donnie. Yeah, the way, you know, he was uh, quite a lot paler than the last time I saw him. Watch out, Terry Gillett. I don't think his heart was in that. Dyer Straits out of here in a hurry. No score for Brandon King. Okay. Let's see. Let's see his head looking over there. To people on the front row. And that's about where he lived. That is a athletic animal right there. Next man getting set to go. Terry Gillett looking on, getting ready for some work. Right, buddy, we'll get your feet there. Right, <laughs> Agitating somebody, no doubt. Barry Hankins. And there, Barry's been doing a really good job working alongside Terry Gillick. This is Greg Allen from Marina, Texas. He's on shorty. Remember, 70 points to score to beat. All right, here we go. Little young bull going to head down the arena. Ah, slow that free hand down, kid. Got himself whipping and bobbing and just barely made the whistle. He did, however, stay on for the eight seconds. They're going to give him a score, trying to beat 70, but not able to do that with a score of 64. Looks real good to start with. Staying still in time with the bull now. Right along here. Now watch his free hand. He goes to just whipping it. See what that does to your body. See how, how the control, how you lose control, it's kind of like waggling a golf club. Almost starts to move his legs yeah. after swinging so much. <laughs> but we move now to Kevin Bodie, and he is on Calvin. I think our TNN TV director, oh, Ken Vincent, named this bull. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, Kevin. Whoa, you better get up. spot, Kevin. 
Kevin, you're getting taller. <laughs> Grew out of his hair there a little bit. Chad, back on. No score for Kevin. And he was almost face to face, Kevin and Calvin there. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I mean, that's a real helpless feeling. You look over one shoulder and he's there, and then turn back, look over the other one, and he's still there. It's yes. a good thing it wasn't Ramses with these horns right there. He'd have been right in the middle. Scott Pickens. Shishky Bob. Ramses, Scott Pickens, little Scotty riding well. Coming back from the jam thumb. Really painful. Right in the middle. Hanging there, Scotty, out of yeah. point. Stay right there with him, Scotty. Oh, wow. did you see him pick that by Frank McElvain's in it? Ooh. Yeah, he's still in it. I think his, I think that went from a clown barrel to a porta potty. <laughs> 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 Frank says, hey. <laughs> well, blood is red, I'm all right. <laughs> all right, Ramsey, now he's mad. He said, man, what was in that barrel, gold bricks? <laughs> Some kind of bricks, anyway. He picked that up with no effort. I mean, whatsoever. he just sat there and looked around like there wasn't anything on there. 69 for Scotty Pickett. Scott said, "Can you believe I got on that bull?" He really looked pretty good on yeah, it, Johnny. I thought. Whoa, Terry! Swinging around on the dummy, but Ramsey was having none of that. This is worth a second look. Now, when you stop and think, Frank McElvain, he weighs about 250. The barrel weighs at least 200. So nearly 500 pounds. Look at that. Look at that. We need to slow him down. One more look. Frank ducking down. Don't you know that there's a real eerie feeling going on inside that barrel right now? <laughs> I like that ride better than 69. I like it. Anthony Dickinson on juggernaut anthony trying to get him to stand up leaning on his leg there's no one of those new bulls here you don't you never know how they'll react under the lights all right looks to make a turn right quick anthony gets back in the center coming back around a flat spin bull wanting to fight anthony just oh, oh, oh right on his head man oh man don't step on his hat that's a brand new one that Ooh. had to hurt terry yes. gillett Moving in. Little bull fighting American style. Now that'll give you a headache. They can do one of those aspirin commercials. Poor Frank. He gets another shot. Getting a workout tonight. 66 that's to score. Gonna, that's not going to oh. help his headache. He says, oh, man, why did I get up this morning? Gee. Hey, he wants to see what Are happened. you sure you want to watch this again, Anthony? Now, up until the whistle blows, you're getting along just fine. Bull just switching and turning, hard to stay in the middle, and then flat spin. Now, watch this. Oh, my. I mean, now, just get on your, you know, chest or drawers, get on the top shelf, then fall off on your head backwards. That'll give you the idea. It'll get you in training to be a bull rider. Oh! They say you can be a bull rider if you put... Three marbles in your mouth as we watch Donnie Satig. Three marbles in your mouth go in circles. Every time you make a complete turn, spit out a marble. When you've lost all your marbles, you're a bull rider. I mean, you know, that sounded That's about as good an explanation as I can come up with. Hang on, Donnie. Right in the middle. Another one of those young bulls. Donnie needs to sit down a little tighter and get his arm bent a little. Makes the whistle. Steps down. No problem, not going to force our lead score. That's 70, still holding into first place. 65 points to score for Donnie Satig on Curly. Little bull just went down the arena, right straight down. Now, he kind of stalled. He didn't even really know to look out the gate when the gate opened. Feet are kind of bouncing. You want to ride those kind of bulls tight where you don't just get jerked and jobbed around. You know, that helps your longevity after a while. <laughs> well said, well said. Well, coming up next is Barry Gullo, and he's on Cream Puff. It's a bit of a rematch, and we had a chance to ask him about that rematch just a little bit earlier. Barry, your rematch this week on Cream Puff, we saw you place on him last time. What can we look for this time? Same thing. I, he's, he's, 
he don't got no sap pattern and he's like blowing up balloon and letting it go. You just kind of hang on and make the whistle blows. Hey, no problem. You know, you want to be careful of being overconfident. All right, now that second, that was on this book. Wrote him no problem. He jumped out oh, of it. Oh, Barry. How did I know that? Well, experience. <laughs> I've had it happen to me a hundred times. Check his hat out. <laughs> that's a new style. Ricky Bolin and his resistors, they're coming out. That, you know, that, that's a new Barry Crunch. <laughs> Cream Puff Deluxe. On sale tonight. Whoa. <laughs> So you want to be a bull rider? Let's see, we need to ask Pam to ask him that one more time. Whoa! He looked him right See how close eye, that was? He? He's going east and his hat's going north. Well, that's <laughs> the end of the bull riding. And we ended with a bang. Jim Bob Stobner wins it with 70-point ride. Scott Pickens in second with the 69. And Anthony comes in third. Let's go to Pam with the winner. Dan, Jim Bob Stobner is our bull riding winner, and Thumper really had you off your rope. It was a great recovery. Tell me about the ride. Well, it started out pretty good, and then I got in trouble there for a little bit and ended up coming back there at the end, getting back in the middle of him. How could you pull yourself back on your rope? Well, it was a little bit of help from him, and I was just straining myself, but it worked out. It worked out great. Congratulations. Don't go away. Donnie and Dan will be back to wrap up the rodeo in just a moment. some time to talk about the winners people going home with the money the bareback riding very good tonight Donnie in the winner Tim Ryan was 72 points well the scores weren't all that high but the rides were really tough rides I mean Tim Ryan rode the national finals bucking horse fizz bomb and really made a pretty good ride on him I mean you know he the horse bucked and he stayed right in there and I like that Bo Mayo went second followed in third place by Mark Michael who looks like he's back after a lot of, uh, just a string of injuries good to see him back here with us in the calf roping Ray Holliball wins it 11 and 11-5 for him. Dr. Daniel, the national finalist, won second, followed by my veterinarian, Casey Reisinger. Now, we talked about Mike Kuhn before the rodeo tonight. He comes through and wins it, 72 points. All right. He, I, you know, crazy snake, jumps, kicks, no problem. Mike Kuhn just rode him. Uh, it goes in there first place. It was almost like a day off for Mike Kuhn. Uh, Tom Brown won second. Jim Blaine Kenny with the black eye and all, wins third place. Now, in the bull riding, Jim Bob Stobner. I love that name. Sounds like a cowboy. He wins it with a 70-point ride. Had a little trouble. Lots of extra effort. Nearly got dumped. Made a great recovery to win first place. Scott picked Second one second, and Anthony Dickerson stuck it out to win third. And as Donnie mentioned, the scores really don't reflect how good of rodeo it was. Lots of good rides, well, lots you of know, action. The scores don't have to be high as long as they get the money to the right fellas. Absolutely. Well, for Pam, Donnie, and myself, Dan, we thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mesquite Championship Rodeo is a production of Reedland Sports.